Okay, so I'm going to be talking about twists that happened in Once Upon a Time. So this is sort of your blanket spoiler warning for... Let, let's just go with the whole show. Um, so I will be looking at not necessarily the twists that, you know, have my jaw on the floor, but rather looking at the moment the twist is revealed. So there's quite a few that um, did not make the cut because I started watching in season six. So a lot of these twists were already like known to me by the time the reveal actually happened. I don't know if that makes any sense, but basically like a twist like Zelina and Regina being sisters. It's like, well, coming in during season seven, they're already sisters. So going back and watching the reveal in season three is a lot less shocking. Um, so that's sort of the realm that we're going in. I might do another video with like my favorite twists in general, um, which would involve some of the twists that aren't on this list. But um, nonetheless, there is still quite a few twists from the early show as well as the later show that, you know, are on this list because they weren't really things that were known to me during season six while I was watching it. So strap in because we got five of them. I know it doesn't seem like a lot um, and that's because there really isn't a lot. But these are twists that had my jaw on the floor, but I also really enjoyed them. So if it's twists that I didn't really enjoy, they ain't on this list. I feel like that's a topic for another list, my least favorite twists. <laughs> Cloak! <sighs> He's gone. Who's gone? Get up, girl. Get ready to run. What's going on? Come on, Red. Don't you hear them? We have to go. Go? You don't understand. No, I'll explain it later. We must hurry. What? I'm confused. What's happened? Where's Peter? He wasn't the wolf. I was wrong to keep it from you, but now you have to go. Red, go. Me? Oh God, me. Red, go. Oh boy, that was that was kind of a bizarre twist. Um, and I really, really loved it. Honestly, like. I think, you know, when Red and Snow believe that Red's boyfriend, Peter, I think his name was, um, is the wolf that has been, like, terrorizing everyone, um, I fully believed it, too. Like, it made sense. And then they went and they revealed that, no, Red is actually part wolf, and she's the one who's terrorizing everybody under the full moon, and her little red hooded cape yeah, that prevents her from turning into a wolf. So, it was kind of a bizarre twist that I actually really, really loved. So, yeah. Red being the big bad wolf is number five on my list. to that I was going to give it to you what she can't love you you know she doesn't have her heart with it maybe she can but that's why you've never felt she loved you she doesn't have her heart 
She can't love, so she can't love you. She always wanted the best for me. That's love. Imagine a real love. You'd have a mother and a start on making a family Henry could be a part of. Or you could ever be the dark one. The choice is yours. Mother? Mother? Oh. Mother? Oh. Oh. What's wrong? This... What have So, Snow White was actually responsible for someone's death prior to Korra's, a.k.a. Daniel's. Um, but she was sort of, like, indirectly responsible for that. Like, Korra manipulated her and got the information out of Snow White. And so, while Snow White was technically responsible for Daniel's death, she wasn't responsible for killing Daniel. Um, but... Cora, oh boy, was she responsible for that. Um, she actively chose to kill Cora, which, like, fair. Like, Cora was not great. But, um, while she did later regret her choices and tried to put a stop to it, she was too late. Therefore, she was responsible for Cora's death. Um, <laughs> Snow White being responsible for somebody's death, like, pretty directly, is not something I thought I would ever say. Ever. So, yeah. Um, you know, the show had played with the idea of, you know, the good guy's not fully being good and the bad guy's not being fully bad. But, like, I don't know. I just, I never thought I'd see the day where Snow White, of all people, actually killed someone. Um, and not only does she actively choose to light the candle and say Cora's name over the candle, but... She then goes on to manipulate Regina into giving Cora back her heart. And, like, it's just, like, <laughs> to see her actively choose to kill somebody and manipulate somebody else into essentially doing it for her. <laughs> this was coming from Snow White, of all people. Like, oh, my goodness. I... <laughs> I loved every moment of it. I think, you know, seeing this darker side to Snow White was like, okay, I love this. 
Um, so yeah, Snow White killing Korra is in fourth place. Corella told me the truth about her father and the others, that you murdered them. She really did a number on you, didn't she? Do you think a newspaper man would know a tall tale when he heard one? Because I didn't kill anyone. Don't you understand? It was Cruella. She was always a troubled little girl. Her father and I had hoped she'd grow out of it. Until one night he was having his tea in the parlor when I heard a thump. I raced in to find him dead on the floor from a heart attack. Cruella, the poor dear, was there, paralyzed with shock. After the doctor left, my first thoughts went to her. What effect seeing her father die would have on her already disturbed mind. So I went up to try and comfort her. I expected to find her crying, but she wasn't. Instead, I saw a hint of a smile on her face. I thought I was imagining things. But then I saw the trump of flowers on the bedside table. Her favorite flowers? The ones you ripped out because you hated the smell. I ripped them out because they were poisonous. She poisoned him. You're lying. If what you're saying is true, you would have gone to the authorities. How could I? She was my daughter, and I blame myself. I thought if I kept her close that I could somehow fix her. But there's no fixing her. She poisoned the next two husbands as well. Get out of here. Before I call the police. You don't have to believe me. Just stay away from Cruella. She takes the things you care about and she destroys them. A kid being locked in the attic by her mother and it's like, this is where you will live now. I literally sighed with frustration. Like, truly, I was just like, oh, here we go again. Why does every villain need a tragic backstory to justify their villainy? Like, why? Why? And it felt like that's where they were going with Cruella. And it's like, oh, gosh, here we go. But then it's revealed that she was being locked in the attic because she was evil. Like, <laughs> I think I literally cheered when her mother, like, tells Isaac, like, no, 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 no. You don't know this woman. She killed her father. She killed the other husbands. Like, she was born pure evil. And I'm like, yes, finally. Because I was so afraid that they were going to go the route with Cruella of, oh, her mother locked her in the attic as a child. And now... She's like, you know, turning evil because of it. And it's like, oh, here we go again. Um, but I mean, let's face it. When your last name literally kind of spells out devil, there's not much room for redemption at all. And I'm glad that Cruella was the character they chose to not give a tragic backstory to and just full on make her evil so yeah cruella being actually evil is in third place it looks like your little trick work this one that's my mother and that's me what kind of spell is this anyway no no this isn't a spell at all this is a curse call it what you want it will protect my child. I found what I need. It'll all be over soon. I'm sorry, I can't let you cast this. You're his fairy godmother. Why won't you let me save him? Because the cost is too high. You're trying to create something that never should be. A terrible curse. A dark curse. It will save my son. It will send the child destined to destroy him far away to a land without magic. Not just that child, it will banish every child. It's the only way to be sure. Please. I have to save him. Aren't fairies supposed to protect children? 
I am. And so is your son. He's destined to die so that other children may live. That is the fate of the Savior. No! Savior or not, I will not let my son die! And if I have to kill his own fairy godmother to protect him, then that's exactly what I'll do. You will know the great evil by the crescent it bears. Evil was not born this winter. It was made. That's not possible. Fiona. It's you. You are the great evil. You and your son are destined to destroy each other. Rumpel was a savior, guys. Like, it's weird. It's weird. Um, and while not much was done with this information, like, literally nothing was done with this information. Um, the moment Tiger Lily told Black Fairy that, you know, Rumpel was a savior, it was just such, like, a WTF moment. I was like, What? This is weird. And even Rumple is like, uh, say what? And Emma's like looking and Gideon's looking and they're all just like, you sure? <laughs> like, are you sure? Because it doesn't seem that way. Um, Like, it seemed to come out of nowhere, which in theory should have made me hate it. But I actually kind of loved it. Um... My only gripe with this is, like I said, they didn't do anything with that information. Like, I think, you know, having Black Fairy be the evil that was born out of Rumpel being the savior could have been a big thing to address in the season six finale. But no, they didn't do that. And it's just sort of like this moment comes and goes and nothing is done with it. But... I did have my jaw on the floor, so it's on this list. Time to take you back. Not exactly Tiffany, but they are bracelets, sort the same. I have missed our talks, Detective. Did you enjoy the one with your daughter? To be honest, not since she was four. I only agreed to meet with her because I knew it would afford me the chance to speak with you. Oh, well, I am flattered. But given your current situation, you don't have very much to offer. How could I forget your skill set always comes with a price? What are you getting at? I need help getting to my daughter. The little brat was just here. Not Ivy. Anastasia. Nobody's here. We're all alone. I pretend you're not concerned that Gothel is out of the tower. Now you say that. Like, I should understand what all your nonsense means. Well, why don't you let me know when I do start making sense? All the knickknacks you've been collecting. That great love you're separated from. That dagger you can't seem to get rid of. Stand up. search for the Guardian going. I have all the information you've long sought. You helped me today, and I'll gladly share it with you. Rumpel still skin. I'd say... Okay, so this was the plot that happened in season seven, guys. Um, so, like I said, once upon a time, I had explored the idea of 
good guys doing bad things and bad guys doing good things. But taking one of Disney's oldest villains and making her one of Disney's more recent princesses isn't really something the show had done. Like, I mean, yeah, Rumpel was like 20 different characters. But um, really, truly making like a Disney villain be a Disney princess was not something the show really did. And like, I also think that having this twist um, come in what was otherwise a very predictable season seven due to its very copy pasty nature um, of season one. It was a nice twist and it was a nice surprise in what was otherwise a very predictable season. My only gripe again is like not much is done with this information. It's just sort of there for shock value and that's about it. But it had my jaw on the floor. So it's on this list. And actually, I do love it. So, um, yeah, those are my top five, I guess, Once Upon a Time twists that had my jaw on the floor. Let me know which Once Upon a Time twists genuinely surprised you and whether you liked them or not. Um, yeah, I'm really curious to hear what everyone's thoughts are because I feel like, like I said, there's a lot that I didn't cover because, well, it was already kind of known. Um... But I'm really curious to hear what everyone's thoughts are on not just my twists, but your own twists from Once Upon a Time that genuinely shocked you. So let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more Once Upon a Time content.